So good afternoon or to all of you. Uh, first of all, I want to thank NES CAA for the invitation to bring me here to the United States. It's a big pleasure. So in the name of uh, all the staff from the convention, I want to deeply thank you. In my name, in the name of Shakhtar, thank you for having invited me and to represent the club in such a big event. Um, my, what I want to do here today is to show basically an idea uh, regarding defensive work. Uh, an idea, basically, uh, technically we cannot call it uh, a game model. So we have a game model, and uh, according to this game model we have several aspects that of course we define. We define the tactical system we use, and we basically use the 4 2 3 one um, We have also, of course, defined the game methods we want to use. We also define basically everything regarding the standard set pieces set plays. We define, of course, all the exercises that want, we want to use, but according to one thing that for us is quite important, our game principles. And it's a little bit regarding game principles that I want to speak with you. And uh, when we speak uh, about uh, the game and creating a game model and uh, the importance of having these game principles, that's quite an interesting expression that usually we use, like saying that for a sailor that doesn't know where he wants to go, any wind is suitable. So basically what we want is to have always a straight idea of what we want for our team, for our teams, and then according to these ideas, to these bigger major principles and then to small ones that we call the sub-principles, develop our game and uh, through all the age groups, of course. These principles, they are connected with the different moments of the game. I spoke about defense, we know that we have offensive and defensive organization, we know that we have transition to attack and transition to defend. We'll have the chance to speak a little bit about transition to defense and, and attack in my next uh, communication. But basically, let's take a look on defensive organization. And uh, for me, defensive, and for us in Shakhtar, defensive organization is quite something important. And it's important, why? Because we like to have an organized team. Of course, we also organize attack, we organize our transitions, but basically it's quite important for us the moment when we defend. And when we defend, we have several aspects that are quite important. I will not have time today, and it's not the, the major objective of this communication, to speak about individual technique on defending. You had already several communications about defense. Of course, we know that the basis of a good defense is individual behavior in terms of defensive uh, um, actions. Second, we have something else that's quite important, is our uh, game principles, and uh, especially when we speak about game principles, we speak on uh, about um, we speak about, uh, in defense, we speak about contention, we speak about defensive coverage, we speak about concentration, and we speak also about shortening spaces. So basically, this is a little bit of what I want to show you today. Um, we will start uh, using some smaller sided games, because these smaller sided games, uh, starting on one against one, two against one, two against two, two they are the basis of the development of these small principles of the game. When we reach situations of three against three, and then we reach four against four, we start having an organization according to our defense. So when we have four defenders on a four against four situation, we have, if we put them left, right defender and central defenders, we have one defensive line. So basically, to reach the behavior of a defensive line, we must, or we use the smaller sided games to control and to develop the behaviors we want then to express on this uh, line, defensive line work. So basically, it's a little bit of this that we will do. 
we will try to work on some aspects using a little bit of uh, these small games and then we'll go for the work with the line of four. Of course, that uh, it's not enough. When we defend, we, def we don't defend with four. We defend also with midfielders. So basically, we also want to organize the work in terms of defensive behavior of our midfielders and wingers. So then we'll work a little bit with the line of four We're using two midfielders, number six, number eight, and our two wingers. After this, it's quite important to reunite what we split. So basically, when we reduce the games, when we work with the separated uh, sectors of our teams, we know that we are just working to put together. So our intention is to teach, to develop, to increase some behavior we want to achieve, but then, of course, we always know that what is really important is when we put it together. And then, of course, you have the attackers, two guys in the front, so basically we also need to make them understand how they should behave in terms of defensive work. And also, again, we need to put them all together. So basically, it's a little bit of this I want to do today. I hope that uh, this space, it's not too big, but I hope that I can show you a little bit of it. And uh, I will invite you from now to join me in a session, in a class, so upstairs at 2.30, so that I can show you some videos of this work, but in big pitch. So from now, if you get interested, you are already invited for this. So let's pick our girls here, and let's start to make some of the games, okay? So girls, thank you very much for joining me today here in SCAA 2014 convention. I'm very happy to be among you. I will need now four of you okay let's start with two against two so we'll go through one against one we'll go through two against one let's go uh, we'll go past so let's go right straight to two against two so what i want some of you please step out of the pitch and to attack this goal and other two attack this goal and basically i will before you start to play freely i want to tell you something on defense, as game methods, we use zone, but we don't use any zone. So what I mean with this, for, for us, zone defensive is only understandable, is only usable if we make it with pressure. So we use as game method for defense, pressure pressing zone. So when we speak about pressing zone, we must understand that the, ball, the girl, in this case, with the ball, must always be pressed. So, she has the ball, I want you to press her, okay? And according to your defensive behavior, you should close the inside space and leave it that one for her, okay? So, that's quite okay. So, you have to move, of course, to work, and you must give her cover. We want her to be always protected because she can lose on one against one. One against one, the advantage is for the attack that has the ball. So basically, you will cover her. If you pass the ball to her, quite simple. You come and you close the space. Okay, super, very good. So basically, this is already something that we are growing in terms of what we want to achieve on that side and then when we will put the four guys the four girls playing together okay so let's try to make one thing when you play in zone you don't change your sp game space so you don't go with her if she goes with the ball you don't go with her when you reach her space you stop okay and then because she will also move you can close the spaces but always according so if the attackers change positions you don't change you communicate and you say look her and you stay and keep the position okay so let's start from the back girls do you understand quite simple okay just let's try to make it a little bit so let's go okay that's it Try to pass, okay? Try to pass more than conduct the ball. Try to pass between you. Opa. Okay. Don't change positions. Okay, stop. Stop. Try to not to change it, okay? That's good. Go back again. Good communication. It's very important to communicate in football, okay? So always communicate. I'm here, okay? Come protect. You go, you can go. So 
Let's start, okay? You don't need to go so far. Let her, let her start to get, and then you press her, okay? Okay, let's go. Opa! No, 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 no. That's the question here. When she went, you stay because she came on your sp place and you go to press her. Could you understand? Let's see what happened here. This is quite, 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 quite very important. Go there, please. Okay, open on the right. Open there, open there. Okay, pass her the ball. Yes, come with the ball, come with the ball, come. You go there. Okay, in this moment, you shouldn't make this. You shouldn't never make this. You keep your position, and you keep your position, and you pick the girls then, okay? So let's start back again, and you can go for it. Let's go. Go near the ball, okay? Press the ball. Press the ball, press the ball. You here on the left. Yes, okay. Don't you... Oh. Okay. That, go, go. Okay. Okay. Go. Change. Okay, now it was okay. So one goes, the other in the back. You go in the back. If I go here to press, you protect me. If you go, I protect you. But don't change positions. And let's try to be more active on really pressing the ball, okay? Because one thing is staying on the zone. What we call, we stay on the zone, but we don't want to stay on the zone. We want to stay on the zone, but we want to, to press it, okay? So if you want to press, you must go near the ball, okay? Let's go. Whoop. Okay, don't change. Go, 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 go. Opa. No problem. Okay, let's attack now. You defend now, both of you there. Let's see if you paid attention to what I said. Okay, take one ball. Opa. Let's go. Go near, go near the ball. Yes, go near. Okay. Opa. And change. Go. Back. Okay, very good. Very good. Again. Opa. Go on the ball, go on the ball, go near, go near, don't... Yes! Opa! Okay, yeah, very good! Okay, opa! Okay, that's now. Let's go through this. Let's pick the fur girl in attack. So, let's make three against two. Come here. Now I want one girl on the left, one on the right, and one on the middle, and we keep the two defenders, okay? And now you will explain me, but how can we make this? It was very simple, but now it's really complicated, yes? So, not really. Pass the ball on her. Girls, one of you can pick me two bibs down there, please. Can you, one of you, pick me two bibs? Huh? Okay, ball on the left. You press her. Very simple. And now imagine, the ball is passed there. Who will press? You or her? Why? Who is near the ball? She is. She is, so why you go? No, she goes. Okay, but now we don't want to change the zones. Right. So now, if the ball goes there, now you go. And you come back. And pass there, you come. No, 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 no. She's near. Just wait. Let's go. Put there. Okay, right here. There and go. Protect me. Okay, go and change. And now, whoop, go. And me, whoop, okay. And you, me, whoop. And you go, protect, whoop. Okay, I'm here. Whoop, you go. Okay. So, we are two. They are three. But you are not afraid, okay? Just let's keep the organization, because organization is the basis of defense. And when you have to be organized, you have to communicate a lot. Now I have to breathe a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, let's start. On the right, you go, okay? Yes. And keep the pressure. And you go and change. Yes. Very good. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We know three against two. They are in the advantage. No problem at all. Just to make it easier to understand. Okay, let's start again. Put on the one of the sides. Put on one of the sides, please, yeah. Go, Oop. Yes, don't change. You go, Oop. Get up, Oop. Come on, press it, press it, press it. Yes, again, Oop. Okay, very good. Pick one back again. Last time so that we can go for three against three. 
take it. Whoop. We'll stop soon. Huh? Just rest. Okay, go. Then you go. Keep the pressure. Keep the pressure. Pass, 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 pass. Yes. Whoop. Don't change. Very good. Keep the zone. Press. Here you go. Whoop. Now go. Go. Whoop. Keep. Okay. Very good. Very good, girls. Very good work. So I need the third one here. And another beep, sorry. One of you go back there, gives a big run and picks a beep and come to play. So now let's put the third defender. So we are growing, huh? Now three against three, it's quite okay. So on three against three, we'll start managing the growth of our defensive line. Even because we know that some defenders, some teams play with three defenders. And the behavior I want them to have is quite simple. I want always one on pressure over the, over the ball. Press near, okay? Shorten the space. Put it. Second one here on cover. So contention, defensive cover, and this fourth player gives balance and you come on the same line of her. Don't forget, always on the same line. This is very, very important. You'll see that why we are working, why we are working on this line. And if you have an assistant or you as, you as a coach, you should sometimes come to this position and check the line. And from now on, it's quite important to have this information. She controls the line or she controls the line. So, who should define where the line will be? This we'll call the first line, this we call the second line. And the line is always defined by her. But she must align by her. Why? Why? Quite simple. If I position myself to give cover to her, I don't see with my back, but she sees with the front. So she can control the position by her. She never needs to worry about the position. She needs to worry about the distance she gets from the contention. Okay? So, and you tell me, which distance should I give? It's not mathematics. This is soccer. So this position in the pitch can be bigger and smaller according to several facts. Also according, for instance, for the existence of a midfielder that can also help on covering the position of the left defender, for instance. Imagine now left, central defender, right defender. Okay, if I have a midfielder, this distance in the game can be a little bit bigger. If I don't have the cover of a midfielder, the distance can be a little bit shorter. So basically, I usually say, give it to more or less six meters, but this is not maths, okay? And you, here it must be maths. You must be strict on this line, okay? Pass the ball, you go, and back. And now, one line, and pass, you go. One line, and pass, okay, let's go, whoop. Keep passing, keep passing, yes, keep passing, yes, whoop. And you can play, you are playing, let's go. Upa. Yes, don't change your don't change your positions. Don't forget we press, but we are in the zone. Okay? And they don't get in us. Let's go. Oop. Go, go, go. Bless. Go. Oop. Don't Yes. Very good. Okay, just wait. Quite interesting. Stop, stop. So, you came and then you understood that, oh, oh, I must stop. Yeah. Yeah? And you came back to your position. Do you know why? Because you started to enter her zone. And we know that our zones, if we have circles around us, our zones, our circles, they can touch each other, but they don't should go one over the other. Okay? And you understood it. Very good. So, press, go in the front. And second line here. Let's go. Oops. Line, line. Yes. You go. Very good. Change and speak. Yes. Upa. Okay. Very good. Some first applause for these girls because they are working quite hard. 
because this is not simple. This is very complicated behaviors, and uh, I don't know if they work usually with this kind of behavior, so it's not simple, it's quite hard, so it's important to really understand their work. Um, let's go through this. So, with these kind of situations, we can develop these small aspects of our game. And you say, but are these games important? They are very important. From the small boys to the grown-ups. And we can use them in several ways. This is quite intense. Intense in terms of physical and fitness, but also intense for our mind. And don't forget that intensity is not only physical, but it's also psychological. Attention on this. So, very intense work, we can use it in a day of the week where we work on strength, because we have breaks, we have stops, we have jumps, we have fights, and it's quite interesting. So, let's go through this, and let's go there. Okay, girls? And now, I ask, please, for the guys to take this out, people from the organization, and I want four girls, you can also leave the bibs there on the, on the pitch, okay? I want four girls, and let's change the girls now on the orange bibs. And if you take a look here, we have uh, the area, the 18 meter area, and we will start working. I want one left defender there, one right defender, and two central defenders, okay? Look, there, we had specificity in the behaviors, we had no specificity in the positions. We can have, but I choose them sorted. But here I don't want them sorted. I want to work on their positions. So basically, we have one defensive line here. Okay? Very good. And now I will need the help of one of you from there. Who's the coach, brave, courageous, that can help me here on the line? Very simple. I just want you to help me on controlling the line of the defense. Come on, one of you. No one brave enough to come here and just stand up? Quite simple, come on. No, not really offside. Don't worry about offside, because there will be no opponents. I want you to tell me, and you can also give some instruction to the girls about the line. And when I stop, I'll ask you how you call it, Rick. Rick, are they on the line? And look, if I tell her to press the cone, orange cone, press it, I will ask them all here to make the line, and one single line. So basically, who orders the line? She does. She settles the position and the distance of the line. They must align by her. But if I tell you, you number two, you press the cone, you come back, and attention on this movement, always like this, okay? You go, you come back, you go, and you come back, and you go like this, always. So if I, if I say number two, she will press, and we have a second line. Very good, you came in. Nice, so you know something of this. Yeah, it's quite important that we shorten the distance between and keep cover to her. So if I tell number three what you do, you go and press the cone, you come back, and you make, yes, a second line here. So always first line, second line. Try to imagine these exercises in the big pitch, where the distances will be bigger, of course. But let's try to make it on the scale here, okay? If I say number four, you go, you come back. Not like this, but diagonal always. You can press, you come, diagonal to pr protect her. If you go, you come. If she goes, you come. If she goes, number one, number one, you protect and line. Okay? Line. So, number one, number two, number three, number four. Girls, a little bit more in the back. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Yellow, blue, and orange or red. Okay, so I want number four. Look, communicate, okay? Communicate and keep the distances between you, okay? Number one, hey, go. Whoop. Coach, are they cool? What, what, what? I said coach, not number. Okay, number one. Stop, 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 stop. Coach, speak to me. Is that correct? I like it. 
I like it. I don't. Why? Half a meter back and 10 centimeters back. And when you say a line, I just saw a line. So you in the middle get in the front and you get in the front. Okay, a little bit more, you're number four. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, this is a line, correct? Because you know, by 10 centimeters, you can have an offside. Right. Because look, we don't work like this to produce the offside. But it's natural in the game, it's the rules of the game. So if you can be strict, we want to be strict. Okay, so be strict with me. Okay. So, number two. Number three. And four. Four blue. Yes, come up. Okay, what is this? We are going up in the pitch. In the defense, when we work, the defensive line controls the going up in the pitch. And this going up in the pitch is very, very, very important. And, oh shit, and why, why is it so, so, so important? Because it's using... So, let me take this because I'm getting very hot. Assistant, please, if you need to help me here. Okay, it's okay. So, when we are going up in the pitch, we are shortening the spaces and we are keeping the pressure. And basically, we work with indicators of pressure. So, when we go up in the pitch, very simple. Every time there's a pass back. If there's a pass back, we go up. Every time there's a guy with the ball that turns around and goes with his own ball to the back. And we go up in the pitch. With this, we keep the distances between our defensive line, midfield, and attack. Because you know you are coaches that is in the back of the midfielders, in the between lines that we get up. So let's keep the distances short. We keep our team in 30, 45 meters, and they are responsible to also to say, let's go, let's keep the pressure on the guys. So let's go back. Don't forget, one, two, three, four, orange, blue, and yellow, okay? And speak. Try to speak with each other. Let's go. Two, four, four blue. Get up, get up, let's go. Okay, and stop, and stop. And one, hoppa. Okay, okay, and two, go, come back, come back. And three, go, come back. Yes, and four, go, come back. And one yellow, get up. Hoppa, 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 and stop, and stop. Line, line. Coach, where are you? So, boys, this is quite important. Now, thank you. Um, look, I'm not joking, I'm putting him here to show you that in the training session, when you have this one assistant, when we have an injured player, it's very, very important to put someone to help you to control the alignment. Very, very important. When you go from these situations to six against four, when you use eight against six, when you use 10 against eight, when you use all these situations, it's not a matter of marking the offside. It's also a matter of marking offside. But not only make this, but let's go up. One meter is very important in football. It's, it's like in American football, you go for the yards. So we also play to shorten the spaces. And don't forget what I told you in the beginning. We want to work on zone, but not any zone. Because if we work on zone and we don't press, I, don't, I had to think a lot in other way to defend. I want to play on the zone, but I want to press always the ball. And you know why? Because when we are going to play, and there's a guy with the ball, I want him to understand. Line! I want him to understand that I don't play against him. I play against all the team. This is zone defense. The guy with the ball doesn't play against one. He plays against 10 guys and the goalkeeper. Because all of them are related in the positions according to the position of the ball. So if I give my back to you, what do you do? What do you do? You come up. Of course. Very good. Let's go downstairs. Down there. I'm trying to manage the time. I get some enthusiasm, but if I don't go to the end, you'll join me in the room and I'll show you in video the rest, okay?
I think it's better to explain you quite okay the, the parts that you can reach rather than leave it all but uh, running. Anyway, you can be invited for next year to come and show the rest. Uh, let's try to understand one thing. Now there's one ball here, okay? So press me. Okay, and if I go here, what happens? Okay, and if I go here, what happens? Very good. And if I go here, what happens? Okay, very good. So if I pass here, this is already an exercise, okay? What can happen? Very good, go back. What can happen? Very good, and here. Whoop, and again. Let's go, whoop. And here, what happens? What happens here? That's good, on the line. Coach! Okay. Press the ball. Tension on the distance, is it? Distance, distance, distance. Very good. Normal? Okay, in Ukraine you say Arasho when it's okay. So Arasho, it's okay, yeah? Good. So basically, this is some of the work in terms of frontals, frontal references for the defense. Because we want to change, let's change. Right defender, left defender, and two central defenders. Can you change? Come on, bye bye. Now, we worked a little bit on this frontal space, but we have the wings. And our left and right defenders, they must press on the wings very hard. So anytime, coach, go there, please. Just to show one simple thing. So he's the right, right winger. I'm the right midfielder. Place yourselves according to the ball, please. One come and press me. No, here, here. Okay, second line. Okay, you are offside, get a little bit back up. Okay, so in this moment, when I pass the ball to him, she must be very aggressive on going to press him. Okay, so basically, very good. Keep the line. Look, it's very simple. Just position yourself according to her on the same line. And you, the same. Okay, very good. So this is quite important to work with the side references. Okay, so let's make it again, but not according to the ball now, according to the, the marks we have. Yellow, red, and there's a small blue one here, boys. I try to make the effort to see it, okay? So, go in the middle, position yourself according to the orange cones. Okay, come here. Okay, one, go there. Yeah, make a second line here, make a line here, okay. So I will tell, basically, press one, two, three, four, don't forget, one, two, three, four, but I can also tell red, blue, yellow, red, yellow. Okay, so if I say one, what happens? One, okay, two, Opa. four, yes, yellow. Let's go, let's go, up, speak, speak. Hey, up, 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 don't go over her. Keep the distance, okay, don't forget. Keep the distance, diagonal to her. Okay, very good, and you keep. And now, red, let's go, Whoopa. Very good, okay, and yellow, let's go. Whoopa. and keep it. Very good, how they are, coach? Ah, they are learning, of course, what am I doing here, okay. Very good, let's go, let's go back. Girls, I will be a little bit more aggressive with you. Let's press in the middle, on the left, come back on the middle or on the right. That's basically what the other guys do if we close the spaces. They will try always to play on the other side. But we'll be quick, because we don't want them to play inside of us. Yesterday someone told already that, that's perfectly correct. But we must go quick on the other side, because also the ball, to go from here to the other side, it will take also time. So if you go quick, maybe you can get there. Okay, so two, one, red, back line, yes. Oh, this is second line, second line. First line is her, second line. Yes, okay. Blue, opa, let's go, let's go. Okay, 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 yellow, go, opa. Let's go, let's go, okay. Number one, opa, opa, number two, Opa, four, opa, yellow there, come on, red, opa, yes, two yellow, so that, la, la, la. okay, 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 go, 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 very good, so basically, 
with what we are doing is giving them references in terms of positioning in the pitch. Let's make this according to the ball. Let's put one left winger over there. One left winger there, okay? On the line of the defense. Position yourselves according to the, yeah. Right winger on the right. Come on, go quick. I want also two midfielders, one on the left and one here on the right. Go there on the wing, yeah. Basically what I want you to do, hey, you are in the training, you cannot be like this. Come on, active, okay. Stop the ball. Stop, 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 okay. Two touches, you must make always two touches, okay. And in the, in the beginning I want you to pass from one to the other. Always first station passes. Don't go over station, okay? So first station, first station, first station. Okay, let's go. No, wait, okay? Uh, wait, 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 wait. These are midfielders, don't press the midfielders. Just press on the wings, okay? Just keep the position in the middle. There's no number nine still there. I will put one number nine for you to press, okay? Not now. So basically you press left winger and right winger, okay? Let's go. Press it. Oop, stop. Don't take the ball. Go. Okay. Keep one line. Go. Go. Pass. Pass. Okay. Go. Oop. Okay. And go. Line one. Line. Yes. Oop. And there. Here go. Oop. Okay. Die. Come on. Come on. Oop. Let's go. Oop. Okay. On the right. Okay. And go. Oop. Oop. Come on. Quick. 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 Now you can step up stations. Okay. Oop. Give here. Give here the ball. Okay, now you can pass, you can pass from here to there, okay? Opa, okay, good. Let's go. Speak, speak defense. Hop, come on, pass, 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 hop, and go. Yes, okay, yes. Pass me, pass me, pass me, pass me the ball. I also play, pass me. Okay, and now, Opa, what happens now? Come up, come on. Okay, and you also. Okay, so basically, just five seconds. Let's go back. Let me get some time and some air. Who's there, the striker of the team? You are? Go there. One of you come here, okay, for her position. Coach, where are you? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so basically let's go for the same thing. But now what I want, I want you to press her if they pass her. So you will move in your zone place. Don't make diagonals, don't go on the wings. Just play here. You can pass her, pass, frontal pass. And you can give back. If she comes here, what you do? Press, and you close. Very good, okay? So, we are already playing in a six against four situation. Let's go. Press, leave it. Okay, okay, go. Yes, okay, hop. Okay, press. One, speak central defenders, you speak. I go, you was, the other one stays. No problem, get me two balls. Keep on going, keep on go. Another one, another one. Take this, take this. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Play, play, play. Okay, hoop. Yes, 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 hoop. And pass. Pass open wide. Yes, go. Yes, and communicate, girls, come on. Okay, coach, how are they working? What do you think about their work? What do you think about their work? They are already trying to manage the situation? They are, but every once in a while, one of them is getting caught. Okay, one is getting always in the back, staying. Okay, so that's why I put it here. You must tell her, go a little bit up and be free to make it, okay? Feel yourself okay. Just communicate to her, okay? Yeah, I need, it. I need an assistant. I, I will bring one from Portugal, okay? So, you help me. If you want to, can take it to Ukraine also, you know? <laughs> but, okay, Davai, let's go. Hoop. Okay, yes. Press her. Yes, yes. Opa. And on the wing. Very good. Go down, go down, girl. Come on. 
We, always, we don't always pass good. Sometimes we fail the passes. Come on. Yes. Yes. Let's make it more active, okay? Yes. Let's make it more active. Come on. Hoop. Hoop. If the defense wants to take the ball, and if you feel you are okay to make it, you can take it. And then I will explain what you have to do. Come on. Go. 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 Keep playing. Keep playing. You can change positions also, attack. You can change positions. Let's make it more dynamic. Yes. Play. 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 Yes. 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 Hoopa. Defense. Be aggressive. Come on. Hoppa. Give me. Give me. Very good. Hoop. Keep. Keep. Yes, yes, okay, let's stop. Look, um, I was trying to make them win the ball, to make you understand something that I want to speak with you about tomorrow, is that when we win the ball, the exercise is not finished. In this moment, maybe the exercises gets one of the most important aspects is the transition. Because there's, there's always, when we work on exercises, open exercises like this, we shouldn't stop them just because the defense won the ball. Because the mission is not accomplished. If we win the ball here, where should I put the ball? Where should I put the ball? This is a small principle. Remember, I spoke about principles of the game. Small ones, sub-principles. Okay, so maybe I want to put the ball on the wing. So why don't I put two goals over there? And she wins the ball and tries to score. Like passing to a winger, if I want so in the game. But let's speak about this tomorrow. Okay, so quite interesting situation. Let's speak about another thing now. Now I just want again the four defenders. Let's change the four defenders, okay? Let's give. Let's pick again only four. Come on. Four girls here with me. Come quick, come quick. Uh, look, it's quite interesting that you understand. I think you did. That we only played. Yeah, good food for the initial position, okay? We only played over the area, in the front of the area. But we have space here in the back. So how should we behave when the ball gets here, for instance? Let me make it in the other side so that you can see there. So when the ball gets here, how should, how should my defensive line behave? The ball is here. Press the ball. In these situations, when the ball is over the 18 meter line. I don't want two, two lines. I don't want two lines. I just want one. So if I want one line, where should you be? On her line. Okay, come here. Don't be shy. Okay. Okay. Coach. Come on, number four. Number four is what the pit you have. So, so number four. One line. So, but now, if I pass the ball to her, I want two lines. You press the ball, second line. Okay, pass me the ball. Here, how many lines? Two. But now, transform it to one line. Transform it to one line, okay? Because we are too near to get any advantage of having offside. And we must understand it. So press the ball, near the ball. Don't forget, it's always pressure. Come on. No, you don't need to go. Stay, stay, stay. Yes, yes. Pass. pass. OK. You can pass me also, OK? Let's go. Keep on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Where are you, girl? Come on in the front. Yeah. Don't forget, it's very simple. You look on the left, look on the right. If the ball is there, you must look to her. If the ball is there, you don't need to look to yourself because they will look for you. Right. Okay? So, pass me. Okay, now. Okay, take it there. Whoop. Yes. Very good. Very good. Yes, keep on passing. Very good. Second line. Come on, me. Okay, keep on going. Yes. Yes. Whoop. Yes, change the fl flank, change the flank. Too much time, the ball on the same flank. Change it. Okay, very good. Me, me, whoop, me. Okay, whoop, oops, sorry. Okay, now one line, one line. Come back, 
two lines come on start to separate it yes start to separate come back attention decrease the distance very good again whoop come okay let's go who comes press me who comes press me now yes let's go S slowly yeah take it let's go play okay let's stop okay so basically what i want very simple and look because the midfielders i will not want them to make two lines only i want one midfielder to press a right winger i want one cover from number eight for instance and i want also number six to make cover and do a line by her and i want this you know why what i told you about the between line space i don't want this space to exist i want this place this space to be a little bit more covered so i want one player to play in this space so now if i have the defensive line like i had here meanwhile we have two lines of four four defenders that in this moment should be on a really strict line i want one winger pressing the ball and pressing the ball is on the moment of the reception he must arrive she must arrive and press and here is like this in the moment i say you press there you go you come back and now yes you make one only and single line here one line yes if i say there you go come back and if i say there you go go on oh press the boy press the ball there 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 press the ball there there line line a line by her here go okay like this so let's try to make it okay press look you don't run like this okay you run like this always so you go you press and you come back and you go and you go and you stop and you go and if you have to run like this no problem but don't give don't run like this okay because if the ball goes on your back the time you take to rotate the ball will be in the goal so in this case it's better to be like this so that if you need to go back it's easier there second line on the wing you go yes back oh perfect very good there go Whoop. here yes there yes there okay very good where are the four defenders in the back of them go there left right and central defenders come on quick 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 you don't need this you are all one team now don't leave it leave it leave it go so we have the midfield and we have the defense don't forget now come on come on close on her line come in here here come on the four of you come on let's go okay perfect so you just go left and right because they are pressing there okay so there press go yes there press yes there go very good here hop very good there press very good there go okay very good so basically what we are doing with this process is to grow up our team this is the name i gave to the communication team building creating a defensive pattern because this pattern is not any pattern is the pattern i have according to my game model according to my game principles that it's a slight part of my model and indeed look if you have another tactical system if you have another principles you cannot make this like this you can make it any way your way like the music but you must make it somehow you must teach it somehow and you must choose your exercises and you must communicate you must teach your boys or your girls whatever you want because there are still some lots of sub principles i should use and to grow up this identity so basically 
when we work and come, join me girls come on join me join me join me join me so basically when we work on creating some identity with my team i work always on behaviors and uh, don't forget that uh, it's very important to have an identity because, like I said in the beginning, when you don't know where to go, any wind will fit you. And I don't believe that football is done by blowing in any, any wind, by sailing in the, in the sea with any wind. We must know really where we want to go. So I will finish to be on time. I, like I said in the beginning, I want to thank all you girls, you are very, very good, fantastic, too, because it's very difficult. <laughs> and I also want you to, if you want, if you want to see more, if you want to see this in the pitch, I will use the big hall upstairs at 2.30 to attach my computer and show you really situation, training situations in big pitch with my players. So if you want to see it, 2.30, I'll be pleased to show you and to share you something more of what I do. Thank you. Thank you, girls. I'm really very happy and pretty proud to be with you, okay?